Welcome back everyone. Uh, thanks to all my new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, but today we are in the potting shed. Uh, a couple of reasons. There's not much to do in the allotment at the moment. At the moment and uh, I'm suffering from a bit of sciatica so my mobility is not as good as what it was. So I can do a few light duties in the potting shed. So let me show you what happened after the last video when we uh, we we sowed the seeds for the onions and the leeks and shallots and the peppers. So this is the first one. This is the leeks. Uh, these are Musselboro and these quite a good germination there. You can just see all the little black seed casings on the top of the shoots. They'll eventually fall off in good time. When they're ready, there's no point pulling at them. All you end up doing is risking uh, damaging the seedling. Similar with the Zabrun onions. And what I'm going to do with these today is I'm going to put these on. I'm going to pick these all out and put them into individual cell trays. So that's the Zabrun onions. Now, interestingly, uh, I got a message from Brian at Brian's um, garden in Polytunnel. And he informed me that if you grow shallots from seeds, you will only get one bulb. You won't get multiple bulbs. Uh, you will get multiple bulbs if you grow them from um, sets. According to the the website, was that was the Royal Horticultural Society website RHS. So according to them, if you grow them from bulbs from sets, you will get multiple bulbs. But if you grow them from seeds. You will only get one bulb so thanks for that brian uh but it's a bit of a moot point actually because <laughs> there's my shallot nothing not one nothing came up and that's my red onions none of them come up as well so the seeds must have been duff they were old seeds but sometimes you take a chance with old seeds and they'll come up this time they didn't so um, I haven't decided whether they go and get some more seeds and try them again from some new seeds because I've been trying to think about uh, where I'm putting things in the allotment this year and I may not have enough room for all the different types of onions and shallots but uh, I haven't totally made up my mind yet but I'll have another think about it and uh, well I'll decide if I get sow some more seeds. Other things that uh, we sowed the last time, just move them out of the way, was the peppers. And as you can see we've got we've got 50% gem. We, we didn't plant a lot of pepper seeds to be honest, but we've got two of the sweet Hungarian wax and we got three of the California Wonder and four of Robertina. So we've got some sweet peppers there and we've got some chili peppers. We've got four Anaheim and two red hot uh, cherries. Yeah, red hot cherry peppers. So these, these, are, these are actually a bit leggy, as you can see, but I can plant these a little bit deeper in the next pot. And that's what I'm going to do this afternoon, is I'm going to plant these into uh, some little pots and plant the onions into seed trays. The leeks will stay in that big pot at the minute, so uh, uh, they'll stay there until they get much, much bigger. Then eventually I'll put them in the ground. So. Let's get cracking on with uh, doing these. Um, we'll do with, we'll do the peppers to start with. I'll just move these out of the way. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to use these little tools to uh, dig them out, and I'll dig a hole. In these pots and plant them on. Nothing complicated about it. Uh, just 
be very careful try not to touch grab it by the stem because if you break the stem if you break the stem then that's the plant this is a game over that's the plant done so just going to dip a, as I say, I'm going to plant these a bit deeper since I've, because I've gone a bit leggy. Just give it a shake, firm the compost around, and that's one. Now I'll need to keep a track of what's what. Uh, I'll leave them out there for the minute. What I'll do is I'll take these back in the concern. That one's still a bit leggy. Let's see if I can do a better job with that one. Um, these will go back in, into the conservatory where it's... Um, I've got a heated propagator tree that they can sit on. Okay, that one's just very big. Uh, yeah, they're going to propagate a tree, so as uh, chilli peppers, um, that's with all peppers really, they, they require heat to grow. Yep, and I'm doing exactly what I says not to do, I'm just holding it by the stem, but I've got away with that. And these, these will stay in these little pots until they get to a reasonable size and then I'll put them on again into a bigger pot. Uh, so that's... That's those ones. That's the Anaheim. And these are the uh, red cherry. This one's a little bit trickier because it's the the seed leaves are still inside. Uh, the seed casing so I just had to be very careful with this one but as, as, as the plant as the leaves get stronger they'll push that seed casing off uh, if I was to try and pull that off I would just pull the head off the plant entirely so I'm just leaving that as it is and I'll just, I should be able to remember that, four Anaheim and three red, red cherry. Uh, I'm, I'm making a label now, I'll show you how I'll do it. Uh, this, is, this is my labelling machine, um, which I, I prefer to use as uh, I found... Ink was just getting washed off the the labels. I'll just do one to show you. Uh, red cherry. Uh, print. That should come out the top. And that should cut it. There we go. Oh. 
So I'm not going to bore, bore you and do the rest of these. I just th thought I'd show you what's going on. And it's not an awful lot really. Uh, there we go. That's the the chilli peppers done. Okay, so that's uh, the chilli peppers and sweet peppers done. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the sensu uh, white onions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prick these all out, put them into a cell tray and they can happily live in that until they get a little bit bigger. So come down here and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so similar to uh, the peppers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tease these out. And I just broke the root off that. So I'm going to tease it out carefully this time. Uh, and I'm just going to dip a hole. Make sure all of the root goes in and fill up the hole. Eventually, once they get a little bit bigger, they'll have enough strength within the cell wall of the leaf to stand uh, to stand upright but at the moment they're a little bit floppy You don't need to dig them all the way out. If you listen to soil around them, um, they should come out. But as again, just be careful of the leaves. You don't crush the leaves or break the leaves. So I'm going to carry them. I'm not going to make you sit through this. I'll just speed everything up and. Uh, as if by magic all those will be done shortly.
Well, thanks for watching everyone. Just a little quick one this week, just to uh, put on these uh, chilies and uh, onions. Uh, shame about the red onions and the shallots not germinating. But, um, yeah, next time I'm at the shops, I might see if I can find some seeds and might grow some. I've uh, got 42 white onions, so uh, we're not going to go without onions next year, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, these will be stored in the conservatory until they're a reasonable size and then I'll bring them up uh, to the allotment and put them in a little greenhouse or something until they're a decent enough size and the, the soil's warmed up enough that I can put them in the ground so yeah again thanks for watching thanks for all subscribing and I'll see you again next time bye for now